Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, I'm so excited to be sharing with you how to create emotional regulation in your life. You know, you're having a great day, right? And then people happen. You're doing great. And then you're so peaceful. I remember going on holidays by myself and thinking to myself, I am so peaceful. I don't have my children around me. I don't have anybody around me. I am the art of Zen, me, myself right here. And I remember thinking to myself, how come I can be so peaceful, but when I'm around some people, I'm not peaceful. Well, the only way we can learn how to be emotionally regulated is to actually be around people and to sometimes have things happen to us that make us dysregulated. So how do you create emotional regulation? Well, I want to teach you three easy steps that you can coach yourself every day and find your own emotional regulation. You ready? Here we go. So the first step is to acknowledge what has been your resting emotional state as of late. And I mean, as human beings, we are so complex. We are a paradox. We can feel joy and frustration in the same moment. We can feel happiness and sadness. We can feel conflicted in our emotions. What I mean is what has been that resting emotional state that you have been feeling mostly? Could be a couple of different things. Like for me, I've sometimes, being a mom, have felt worried, but I'm also joyful. What is your resting emotional state? Name it. Number two, what does that emotion sound like in your mind? If that emotion was a sentence, what would it say? So for example, if my resting emotional state has been worry, sometimes what it might sound like as a thought is, I can't do this. I don't know if I can do this. By naming it, it helps me frame it. Step three is what are the behaviors that I'm noticing that are a result of how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking? What am I noticing about the behaviors? Sometimes I notice that when I feel worried and I have thoughts of, I don't know if I can do this, I notice that my behavior is I withdraw. So for you, what has been your resting emotional state what are the thoughts that come out of that? And what are the behaviors that you're noticing? Now, this is a three-step coaching model that I use for myself every day on my way to work or on my way to the grocery store. I'll ask myself, Connie, what is your emotional state? What does it sound like? And what are the behaviors that you're noticing? And what that does over time is it allows me to own my inner world. It allows me to feel regulated so that when somebody is losing it in front of me or something happens that's not maybe the greatest experience, I can handle it because I've learned the art of building my emotional muscles. Now, it's the same thing if you go to the gym and if you expect results by Friday and you just started on Monday, well, it's going to take some time, isn't it? It's the same thing with this. It accumulates over time. If you coach yourself in these three steps every day, maybe even writing them down when you can, what's going to happen is you're building emotional capacity. But there's one more thing I want to ask that would just put the cream on top of this cake. Are you ready for it? The question that I ask myself after I've asked myself these three questions is this, who do you have the courage to become? Yes, I'm feeling worried. Yes, I'm feeling like I can't do this. Yes, I'm noticing that I'm withdrawing. But who do I have the courage to become? Well, I have the courage to be somebody who can be brave to face hard things. I can show up when it's hard. I can love people without putting up a wall. I can forgive people when it hurts. That's who I have the courage to become. Am I always that? No. But I have the courage to become that. And I know that while acknowledging what my emotions are, my thoughts and my behaviors, I'm well on my way. For you today, those four questions, coaching yourself through that every day could change the game for your emotional regulation. For more, subscribe below, give us a like, give this a share, share this with somebody who needs it, and we'll see you next time.